Hey everybody, welcome back. Today we're going to adjust the tone of a color. This sounds like it's going to be very similar to the last uh, tutorial. Uh, the HSL option in CSS also makes it easy to adjust the color uh, or the tone of a color. Mixing white with pure hue creates a tint of that color and adding black will, will, will make a shade. Alternatively, a tone is produced by adding gray or by both tinting and shading. Recall the S of the L, meaning the saturation of the lightness HSL. Uh, stands for saturation and lightness, respectfully. Uh, respectively. The saturation percent, percent changes the amount of gray, and the lightness percent determines how much white or black is in the color. This is useful when you have a base hue you like, but you need different variations of it. Interesting. The navigation bar on this site currently inherits its background color from the header element starting with the color as a base. So we want to add a background color to the nav element. So this is the nav element. Um, so it uses the same uh, cyan hue but has 80% saturation and 25% lightness values to change its tone and shade. The nav element should have a background color uh, of the adjusted uh, cyan tone using HSL property. Interesting. Okay, well, they've done a, a, a solid here and left the nav space open, but this obviously tells you that this is the nav. You see here we have nav and then there's UL elements, which means it's this uh, collection of, of here. Because the list elements are set to inline, home, classes, and contact are lined up like that. And so then when, when we can make our, our list elements over here, which we should remember from our uh, HTML stuff, we'll, they're lining up sideways because they're set to inline. And then it's also got the margin and the padding. And so, but this is basically focused on the color. So I think what we're going to do here is we're going to set the uh, background color to be equal to HSL. And then we're going to do a number. We want it to be the same color, so 180. But then we want to have an 80% saturation. And then we want to have a 25% uh, <clears throat> lightness. And so because the lightness is 10 degrees um, or 10% darker than the header, we get this darker look. And because the saturation is uh, less, no, no, the saturation. Yeah, the saturation. Let's see, what would it look like if it were the same? If it looked the same, it would have the same sort of saturation. But if we up it by a little bit to where they want it, it has a different sort of look to it. What happens if we went crazy? Then it would become almost, if we did 10%, it's almost black. So that's interesting. We can put it back to where they specified it. And we kept the color the same. And so I think this should pass the test. Let's go on. Looks like we passed. Um, thanks for watching this video. If you guys found it useful, please uh, uh, let me know. See you in the next one.